Hello and Shabbat Shalom to you. I hope that your Friday has been great. And uh, that is going to head into the greatness of Shabbat uh, just in a few hours. This week we read the uh, Torah portion of Va'era, not Va'era, which is another Torah portion in the book of uh, Genesis. But uh, this is Va'era and Va'era has in it uh, seven of the ten plagues that fall onto Egypt during uh, the uh, Moses-Pharaoh dialogue, dialogue and argument. So uh, uh, behind me are some of the uh, images of the of the plagues, as uh, as 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 you can see. Uh, and don't adjust your television, <laughs> don't adjust your screen. It is not Passover. It's nowhere near Passover. It's January. So why are we talking about plagues if we're nowhere near Passover whatsoever? We're, we're not near. Do we make a mistake? Did the, what, what, what happened? Did the, the, the Torah take us in a, in a, a, is there a detour for the Torah? The answer is no. The answer is that this will, the story occurs at Pesach time but also in how the flow of the Torah works. The Torah just works this way. It goes, it goes in, a, in, a, in an order. It doesn't stop its order. The only thing that stops its order, by the way, are major holidays. So Rosh Hashanah stops the, sort of or, the, 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 the stopping of the flow of the Torah portions. It halts it till the big holidays are over. And then the, the Torah portions continue and flow like, like they're supposed to. But this week is just about seven, seven of the ten plagues. The next week's Torah portion is going to have the, the remaining three. That's just that's just how it is. So I actually want us to think on this on the Shabbat of that of that structure. It's a kind of a cool structure that, regardless of where it falls for a holiday calendar, the Torah they're just going to run like they're supposed to. Like I said, unless they get uh, unless a large holiday gets in in the middle, but the the question is why do we essentially hear it twice? Because we're going to have the dialogue around Pesach, obviously about about the plagues, and we're going to sing all of our songs and let my people go and and all and all those things. So what I like to to think about, what I like for us to think about on the Shabbat, is that uh, it is kind of nice that we have this regular flow and formation of how the Torah portions go week by week by week by week by week. And we are not that far from the beginning of this secular new year. And I'd like for us to maybe evaluate this track, right? I, like I mentioned, the Torah portions stay on a track. They don't really leave it until a larger holiday shows up and then it leaves and then the track sort of continues. So here's the question. We had Rosh Hashanah months ago. A chance for us to check if we're on track. But uh, but the secular New Year was also just now. Uh, not, not that far from now. Um, not that far ago. So the, my question is, are we on track? Are we on track with what we said we were going to do for Rosh Hashanah? Or are we on track, just like the Torah portions are, on how we are with whatever promises we made for ourselves in the secular new year as well. Of course, I hope that is true. I hope that I hope that uh, we have made those changes or adjustments, or we are on the track that we plan to be on. So we will discuss this Torah portion and that structure a little bit more tomorrow morning. But I wanted us to to think about that as we, as we enter Shabbat about the track that we're on that we said the said the track that we said we'd be on, are, are we there? Services are not that long from now, from now, like I mentioned, they are at 6.30, and then tomorrow morning is our service and Torah study at 8.30. We look forward to seeing you soon, and Shabbat Shalom.